What do you think about this um, this Devin or uh, Ryan Garcia situation, man? It's crazy, man. Like it's crazy, like. Like me being an advocate for PTSD and mental awareness, you know what I'm saying? I, I you know, wish the best for folks like that, but if you're just playing it, you're just playing it as a game to promote. I'm not can't get down with that, but again, he can't get mad also at the commission, at the New York State Commission, who went to a mental evaluation. It's like, bro, you're putting crazy shit out there every day, what you expect? So, again, I hope we see the fight, but if not, what's my in it that, that, um, that wants to fight Devin Haney? What's your, what's your gut feeling? Do we see the fight April 20th with Ryan? I don't know, and man. The way, the way he's going, man, it's hard to say, man. Like you said, we spoke earlier. Oscar says he, he's all right, he'll get there. But again, it's hard to say. And let, let you know what I'm saying? Let Arnold Barbosa get the opportunity if he, if he, doesn't, if he doesn't want to take it. You got, you got an opinion on the Hollywood stuff that he's talking about? Oh, no, nah, man. No, nah, not at all, man. That's all, that's all Ryan. Ryan's better than me on that one, bro. Um, let, let's say Ryan uh, is on his game and Devin's on his game, then you know we don't got to worry about preparation and right. all that. Who's the better fighter? Devin, Devin Haney, bro. Um, Devin Haney. Just look at the body of work. Um, look at the body of work. I've been in there. With, I've been in there in the gym with, with Patrick with Devin Haney. He's sharp. He, even, even, you know, what I'm saying, even as he's fasting, you know, for this reason now, he was sharp as far yesterday when I watched him. So again, Devin, Devin does a crap to do it, and he, and he takes the crap seriously. What, Ryan's an underdog, obviously. Um, what would he have? To, what does he gotta do to give himself the best chance to win that fight? He gotta, he gotta be mentally strong. He gotta be mentally tough. Ryan has the tools to be a great, a great fighter if he wants to. You know what I mean? He's not a bad fighter. I like Ryan as a fighter, but mentally, we don't know if he, if he can um, get to, get over that hump into the next level. This, this awesome uh, West Coast song in the background started distracting me a little bit. Did it distract you too? Nah, I'm used to all, I'm used to all this, especially the household I grew up in, I, I heard it all. You, know, you got a true soldier's focus, so, oh, yeah. so it, it didn't get you off track. Got me off track, it didn't get you off track. I'm good, I'm good. Um, but um, last one for you, man. Right. Um, out of all the young guys, Ryan, T.O., Devin, Shakur, Tank, do you think, who do you think is most likely to emerge as the greatest fighter? Uh, the greatest? Yeah. Um, no, it's too early to tell because they all build their own legacies, you know what I'm saying? Right now, Tio Fimo, he's on, he's on a good run, especially with everything he's been through. Um, we got guys like Keyshawn Davis, man, Keyshawn stepping up. Another one who I really like, who's not there yet, but he's getting there, Abdullah Mason. Yes. He another one, so again, Coach Shakur still has a lot, you know what I'm saying? Shakur has all the tools to be great, you know what I'm saying? He just got to... Um, Block out all the nonsense that they, that they, that they put on through and shit. Yeah, he'll be up there, but a lot of them guys, man, a lot of them guys, even um, like Will Zeta, you know what I'm saying? He did his thing out here tonight. So, it's like, boxing looks good for the next generation coming up. Thank you, Jamel. No problem.